Another method used to make gold granules is called the splashing method. The so-called splashing method is a technique of pouring melted gold onto a point of impact, which, as the gold liquid splashes, forms many granules. We have prepared a pot filled with charcoal powders and put a porcelain bowl upside down in the pot as the point of impact, whose surface is also covered with charcoal powders. Melt around 20 grams of gold into liquid. The gold needs to be heated for a relatively longer period of time to be completely melted in order to ensure the best result. Next, slowly pour out the gold liquid into the pot. As the liquid hits the porcelain bowl, it splashes and becomes gold granules. Finally, collect the materials in the pot and sift them through a sieve to sort out the gold granules. Similarly, one could also heat one end of a gold wire to make it melt, waiting for the gold liquid to drop. The gold wire melts very quickly, which is significantly faster than making the same amount of gold plates into liquid. The effect is also similar. As the gold drop splashes, smaller drops of gold granules are formed. As there have been charcoal powders arranged at the bottom of the pot, the process of sifting is still necessary to get the gold granules. Alternatively, water or unboiled oil could be used to replace the charcoal powders. Fill the pot with water to the point that the base of the porcelain bowl is slightly above the water. As 20 grams of gold liquid are poured in the same manner as in the previous experiment, almost all splashing liquid have become gold granules. The experiment using oil has also achieved a similar result.